In my last video, I took you guys with me live, sourcing inventory from retailers. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys everything I bought on my last sourcing trip, what I paid for it, and what I'm gonna sell it for. Let's see how much money I'm gonna make. Behind me is my haul for my last sourcing trip. We're gonna go through each item individually and I'm gonna show you what 45 minutes of sourcing at one store can put in your pocket. First, we have these boys indoor soccer cleats, paid $19.99 for those, should be able to get 45 bucks. Next, we have these cross country shoes. These were a great hit. Paid $16.99 for those, should be able to get about $70 for them. We've got these Ohio State off-court slides. Thanks to Adam, I saw these in one of his videos. Not the greatest size, being a men's size seven, but for $9.99 and being marked with a Nike check, can't pass up on those. Should be able to get about 35 bucks a piece for them. Plus they're light, they're gonna ship fairly cheap. This Burlington had a ton of hats. I actually left a lot of hats sit. We've got this retro logo, fitted Steelers hat, paid $9.99 for this one. Some of them were $9.99, some of them were $12.99. This one in particular was $9.99. Should be able to get $29.99 for each hat. The comps on these are kind of all over the place. We had some solds, had some listeds, but selling each of these for $29.99 should leave me with good margins. I picked the good teams, left the crappy teams set. Chiefs, Bengals, can't go wrong there. This retro logo was selling pretty well, so I swooped it. Baseball pants, again, can't go wrong, marked with the Nike check. These were super cheap, and thanks to Adam, saw these on his videos again, $4.99. They also posted a bolo on these in bread and butter. If you're interested in joining that cook group, the link is in my description below. Do not sleep on bread and butter. They're making me a lot of money on these baseball pants. Picked up three pairs, three different sizes, paid $4.99 a piece, and I will get 25 bucks for those all day long. Moving on to this Portugal Nike windbreaker. This was a little bit of a gamble, but the sell-through rate was really good. Cool design, big Nike check on the back multi-color paid $24.99 for it comps were all over the place depending on sizes but like i said sell through rate was great on it i should be able to get $59.99 for this jacket and of course you see the retail tag there was a hundred bucks so we've got a little wiggle room there now you're not always going to make close to the retail price but that is something to keep in mind whenever you're sourcing inventory that might be at least a red flag like hey i'm gonna look this item up next we have this little pullover windbreaker short sleeve nike again i saw the retail price was 80 bucks 14.99 is what i paid for it now if i could go back i might have actually left this sit comps are not amazing it looks like solds are right around 30 to 40 dollars for similar colors this one in particular i couldn't find anything besides a couple listings the listings were around 60 bucks i think i can get 50 bucks for it if it doesn't sell well on ebay these colors happen to be my high school hometown colors so if i list this on facebook marketplace i might actually get some bites there and then i won't have to pay for shipping and last but not least we have this ohio state blank nike jersey i only found one other listing for this this person listed this for 150 dollars retail on it was 105 i paid 24.99 i feel pretty confident that i can get about 100 bucks for this and i kind of have the ability to set the market on it since there's not a lot of comps out there i think 150 is a little bit ridiculous 2xl good size to cop should be easy money all these items are fairly light i think everything i have here will probably ship first class i always keep that in mind whenever i'm sourcing items under a pound are going to ship a lot cheaper than others i was pretty selective on this sourcing trip and i think my 45 minutes spent in this store went pretty well i'm going to break down those totals that you saw on the comps on the side of the screen i'm going to tell you guys what i paid for these items and what i'm going to sell them for now I showed you guys all the tags of what I paid for everything. 185.84 was my total after tax. Of course, whenever these items sell, I'm going to take the Burlington tags off of them. I'm gonna leave the retail tags on. You do not wanna leave those discounted tags on there. People will get mad and they'll try to return your items. If I successfully sell every one of these items for what I listed them for, I will gross $559.87. Now this is gonna take some time. This stuff's not going to sell overnight. I'm trying to build my inventory so that I can build my sales. I may even have to adjust some of these prices later down the road as the market changes. If you take that $559.87, subtract my projected shipping, which is about $65, around $5 per item. Could be less, could be a little more. And then the projected fees, which is about $60 as well take 10% off the top of the gross sales, I'll be left with $438.87. Now we subtract our cost of goods sold, what I paid for each and every single item, 
which was that number you saw on the receipt, $185.84. That leaves me with a net profit of $253.03. I don't know about you, but for me, that's a pretty good day. 45 minutes in one store, 250 bucks. If you could do that every day of the week, you're gonna be a six-figure reseller. You can see my shelf's already getting bare from some of those items that we sold at the last Ross trip, especially whenever we're talking about these springtime, summertime cleats. They're on shelves everywhere. So hit your stores, check your comps, make some money. I'm going to get these items listed right now. If you have any questions, drop those in the comments below. Hit me up on IG. You know the handle is the same, at all AB sneakers. As always, thank you guys for watching. And do not forget, this is all about sneakers.